Well, y'all, the news has gotten worse since I left the house this morning. They're talking about issuing a tornado watch for the Memphis Metro and maybe down to Tupelo and north side of Jackson. Basically, North Alabama, you got warning. Even though you're not under alerts yet, just know, just know it's only a matter of time. I'm listening to uh, WXK 43 in Memphis right now, waiting for that new watch to get issued. Okay, here's the new moderate risk thing, and that hash area is still there, so that's not good. It includes the Shoals, it includes Florence, it includes Tupelo, it includes Memphis, it includes Bowling Green, it includes Paducah, the 15% chance thing, I think Clips, Louisville, or at least the south side of Louisville. Well, Elizabeth Town for sure. You kidding me? Two percent chance of tornadoes where I live. Five percent chance for the Midlands and North most of Georgia. Oh, now you want to move? To the confusion, and along I-20 going toward uh, Anniston, Oxford, the shopping mall there, just off the exit, uh, you're going to have some wet roadways and just uh, bringing those presents in from the store and into the car. Not the, the best of scenarios as we get closer. We've got to tornado warning now, in effect for Jackson County, Maine, Illinois. We hope that you've already got your shopping done. And this is actually... Uh, uh, just after sunset today, where well, we can start to see some severe thunderstorms begin to develop in our state. So we hope that you're at your location, wherever you're going to be. Mobile home is not a good place to be now uh, if we have an outbreak of tornadoes. And we certainly have that possibility. The uh, areas you see here, this is kind of a brownish color. Uh, this is an enhanced uh, spot for where we can see uh, active tornadoes. And right up here in this uh, corner of the state, that's probably our highest risk. The Nation Storm Prediction Center has put that under a moderate risk of seeing severe storms. By the way, if you're traveling westward today in the, into Mississippi, I would see if you could delay that travel until tomorrow because we could see uh, a very dangerous situation uh, develop in this red area over here into uh, Mississippi. So uh, we could have some um, uh, uh, an outbreak of tornadoes in that area, and uh, these, these are tornadoes that could stay on the ground for extended periods of time, long track tornadoes, what we're calling them, up to EF3 status. So a uh, very serious situation the further west you go in the state of Alabama, and certainly if you go west into Mississippi. So delay that travel. If you can, I'm sure Mom and Neil would understand. All right, so we have a significant tornado threat mainly into uh, northwest Alabama. We can see damaging wind gusts over 60 miles per hour, and uh, the storms could linger through the early morning hours of tomorrow. So this could be a, a long event from sunset today all the way into uh, past midnight tonight. So let's be weather aware. And we were telling folks to have numerous ways that you can get information. What, what are you going to do if you lose power? Well, if you charge up your batteries to your mobile devices, you've got that option of you can monitor us through our WPRC weather app. It has radar on there, watches, warnings to let you know if there's an imminent threat near you. And uh, you can monitor us online. We want you to uh, also have battery backup to your uh, weather radio. Oh, weather radio. Because, uh, okay, let me type this real quick and I'll be right back. 
Well, I honestly think the next watch that gets issued for the Metro in Northern Mississippi is going to be issued as a PDS because uh, the the real concerns about long track strong to violent tornadoes. <laughs> nope. I'm just waiting for them to issue the new watch. I want to see what kind it's going to be. There's going to be a high risk tornado watch. But. We'll see how high risk is it. Tornado watch with high risk. For you know the. You know for the tornado threat. Or high risk. For both. The high risk for the tornado threat and the threat for EF2 or stronger tornadoes. Or it's either moderate risk for EF2 or stronger tornadoes. I mean, it would be PDS if both of them are high numbers. Now we're just watching and waiting. The SPC is saying they're going to issue one within the next hour, and they said that about 50 minutes ago. So this is something to be very concerned about. I did not expect in Nashville to get active added to the list or bowling green but they're 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 legitimately concerned about a full fledged tornado outbreak. <laughs> Let me show you this one more time before I end the video. Five percent chance for why two percent chance for I live, five percent chance for the western half of the state in Georgia and rest of Alabama except for that northwest corner. And for Eastern Kentucky, 10% chance for Louisville Metro Point South towards I-71, I think. Yeah, it's got to be 71. And then we got the 15% chance that includes the southern sides of Evansville, down to Harrisburg. Then we got that hatched area here around... Hmm. Maybe Stuttgart, Arkansas to uh, two below to the Shoals to Nashville. That includes Memphis and Jackson, Tennessee. And I think Fort Campbell and Bowling Green in Kentucky. So this is a very dangerous setup right here. We've already had a fatality from a tree falling on a house in Arkansas. The person in it. So this this is a very dangerous storm system. Just waiting on them. Watch, like I said, but I'll keep you posted throughout the afternoon. Expect multiple videos. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to, you know, transition between two, maybe three transmitters at the exact same time, or at least at one point today. I'm gonna stick with Memphis for right now. Switch to Corinth, which is in northeast Mississippi, and then switch to Nashville to storm moves east. Corinth is going to be for the supercells that develop in northern Mississippi. Okay, that's just the game plan. I'll keep you guys up to date on what unfolds here. But once again, moderate risk expanded. 30% chance of tornadoes in, Mel in West Tennessee, in Forest and Arkansas, in northern Mississippi, and the Shoals in Alabama, and southwestern Kentucky. I did not expect that, but whatever.